Hi friends, I am Sunil working as BSNLG. Welcome to BSNLG 2016 exam preparation. Okay. In the previous video, I already explained which instruments are used for both voltage and current measurements. Okay. In this video, I am going to discuss measurement of resistance. Okay, measurement of resistance. First of all, resistance uh, may be classified as three types. First one, low resistance, medium resistance, high resistance. Coming to the low resistance, low resistance is nothing but the values, the resistance value which is less than or equal to one ohm, which is the resistance value which is less than or equal to one ohm, then it is called as low resistance. Then it is called as low resistance. In case of medium resistance, what is medium resistance? The resistance value which is 1 ohm to 100 kilo ohms, 1 ohm to 100 kilo ohms, then it is called as medium resistance. Then it is called as medium resistance. Next, coming to high resistance. What is high resistance? That is the value of resistance which is greater than 100 kilo ohms, then it is called high resistance. Okay, once again, resistance are mainly low resistance, medium resistance, and high resistance. What is low resistance which is less than 1 ohm and medium resistance from 1 ohm to 100 kilo ohms and what is high resistance greater than 100 kilo ohms okay coming to low resistance measuring methods low resistance measuring methods each and every line is a bit okay what is uh, what are the measuring uh, low resistance measuring methods they are mainly three types of methods First one is Kelvin double bridge. Second one, potentiometer method. And ammeter, voltmeter method. Okay, ammeter, voltmeter method. Mainly he asked, Kelvin double bridge is used for, used to measure dash. Here, low resistance, high resistance, medium resistance, D, all. Okay, nothing but Kelvin double bridge is used for low resistance. Okay, nothing but Kelvin double bridge is used to measure lower resistance. Next, medium resistance methods, Me measuring of medium resistance meters are methods, okay. They are nothing but ammeter voltmeter method, substitution method, Wheaston bridge method, ohm meter method. Here, Wheaston bridge is very important. There is a chance to ask uh, this bridge, okay. Wheaston bridge method is used to measure dash. Answer is medium resistance. Next, high resistance method. There are mainly four methods, direct deflection methods, loss of charge method, mega ohm bridge method and finally Megger method. It is very very important. Megger method or Megger is an instrument used to measure high resistance. Megger is used to, res uh, used to measure high resistance. Okay. Next topic. Impedance bridges or AC bridges. Impedance bridges or AC bridges. These impedance bridges or AC bridges are mainly used to measure the inductance or capacitance and frequency likewise. Okay. And Q factor, D factor. Okay. Impedance bridges. Mainly the uh, impedance bridges, in case of impedance bridges, mainly inductance bridges. What are the inductance bridges? These are used to measure the inductance value. Okay. Inductance br uh, bridges. First one, Maxwell's induction bridge. Maxwell induction bridge. It is used to measure inductance. Maxwell's inductance capacitance bridge. Hayes bridge. Owens bridge. Anderson bridge. These five bridges are used, for, used to measure the inductance value. Okay. Coming to Maxwell's inductance capacitance bridge, it is mainly suitable for Q factor is less than 10. Q factor is less than 10. That means it is mainly suitable for low Q factor coils only. It is mainly suitable for low Q factor coils only. Okay. Next, Hayes bridge. Hayes bridge is nothing but very slowest bridge. That means it can take uh, uh, so much time to give the measuring value to give the measuring value so Hayes bridge is slowest bridge 
uh, the question is likewise which is slowest bridge the uh, uh, which is slowest bridge that is nothing but here he has given answers um, given options owens bridge anderson bridge uh, maxwell's bridge hayes bridge hayes bridge is answer okay hayes bridge also used for q factor is greater than 10 q factor is greater than 10 that is nothing but hayes bridge is used for high q factor coils maxwell's inductance capacitance bridge is used for low q factor coils okay owens bridge Owens bridge is nothing but uh, the bit uh, coming from Owens bridge it is a two capacitor bridge the following in the following bridges which is two capacitor bridge is nothing but Owens bridge okay Anderson bridge very important Anderson bridge it is a fastest bridge it is a fastest um, fastest bridge and also accurate bridge and it will give accurate value so it is a accurate bridge and it is also five point bridge five point bridge like uh, in this way it is a five point bridge it is a five point bridge okay it is not used for measurement of q factor it is not used for measurement of q factor uh, which meters not used for Q factor is nothing but Maxwell's inductance bridge and Anderson bridge. These both meters not used for measurement of Q values. Next, capacitance bridges. Capacitance bridges. These are mainly two bridges. Desanti bridge and squaring bridge. It is very very important. Squaring bridge. Desanti bridge. It is uh, suitable for measurement of practical capacitor. It is, used, uh, it is suitable for measurement of practical capacitor. In case of scaring bridge, it is used for used to measure the capacitance, and also it is used to check dielectric strength of the dielectric strength of cable, dielectric strength of cable, or continuity, or checking for continuity. For measurement of capacitance, which bridge is used? Mainly, he has given uh, three other meters and finally, squaring bridge. Okay, squaring bridge is used to measure capacitance, or also it is used to check dielectric strength. Okay, or it is used to check continuity, sir. Continuity. Next, measurement of frequency. Measurement for measurement of frequency, Wien's bridge is very used. It is very, very important bit. Wien's bridge is used to measure frequency used to measure frequency next to measurement of energy measurement of energy the integrating type meters are mainly used for energy that is they are nothing but energy meters they are nothing but energy meters <coughs> okay friends uh, once again uh, recover all these meters First one, PMMC is used only for DC. In case of MI meters, both AC and DC, electrodynamo meter, rectifier meter, and uh, thermal meters, electrodynamo meter type meters, these are used for both AC and DC. Okay. Next one of the meter is also there, but nothing but induction type meter, it is only for AC purpose, not for DC. Only DC is PMMC, only AC is induction. Remaining all, all are AC and DC. Okay. Remaining all are AC and DC. Coming to the PMMC, what is the principle? Motoring principle. In case of MI type, self inductance. Okay. In case of MI type, self inductance. Electrodynamometer type, mutual inductance. Okay. Mm, coming to the next one. Uh, coming to the scale, PMMC has uniform scale. But the remaining meters has non-uniform or non-linear scales. MI type, theta proportional to I square. Electrostatic type, theta proportional to V square. So these are uh, mm, these are non-uniform scales. Okay. For in case of PMMC, eddy current damping is used. For in case of MI types and electrodynamometer types, air friction damping is used. Okay. Some okay. Next one. 
uh, for uh, measurement of low resistance mainly kelvin double bridge in case of medium resistance maxwell's bridge maxwell's not maxwell's it is a wheelstone bridge next uh, inductance uh, next high resistance high for in case of high resistance megger method is mainly used for high resistance okay next one uh, impedance bridges already explained impedance bridges they are nothing but inductance bridges and capacitance bridges inductance bridges are mainly five types okay mainly five types maxwell's uh, maxwell inductance maxwell inductance capacitance heights bridge owens bridge anderson bridge anderson bridge is a fastest uh, bridge and uh, heights bridge is a slowest bridge okay uh, coming to the ca capacitance bridges are nothing but uh, squaring bridges measurement of frequency wiens bridge measurement of energy integrating type type of energy meters integrating type of energy meters okay some important topics are most efficient damping is eddy current damping torque by weight ratio i already explained pmmc has high torque by weight ratio the errors errors uh, errors are heavier in uh, emmc and then mi and then pmmc hysteris errors in case of hysteris errors mi type has higher errors next one pmmc next one emmc because of emmc he is used plastic material so no hysteris losses instrument transformers these are used to measure high currents and high voltages for high uh, the meters which are used for high currents and high voltages are instrument transformers